Hi everyone, it's Fran here. My full name's Francesca Cini and I go by Cini Sketches online. Wherever you are, thank you for watching, spending a few minutes of your time with me, a stranger on the internet. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. Um, if you stay with me, what I'm hoping to do is combine my portraits of Arsenal players with a bit of match analysis. If you like art, if you like Arsenal, you're in the right place. Um, <laughs> Please give this video a like, give me a subscribe. Today I wanted to show you a few of my portraits and how I did them. And then I'm going to show you my first ever trip to the Emirates. I made a terrible vlog, but it does show how excited I was to be there. Um, and I will also give you a sneak peek at the end of my work in progress of a portrait I'm doing of Ian Wright and Rocky together. So wait till the end if you want to see that. But first of all, I'm going to give you a guided tour of some Arsenal portraits I've drawn so far. I absolutely love football and I absolutely love art, so I thought I'd combine them and draw some of my favourite players. I play six aside now, um, I'm in goal sometimes, um, so I'm going to show you them. Let's go over to my desk and I'll show you my portraits and tell you a bit about them. We're in my studio at the moment, there's a taster of my new one which you won't see till the end. And we've got all my art stuff. So let me show you some of what I've done recently. So this is my favourite ever piece that I've done. It's A1 sized. I just wanted it to be a celebration of some of our greatest players. So right at the top, obviously, I had to do Thierry Henry. I'll just give you a quick zoom and you can see some more photos of it on my Etsy. So we've got Pires up here and Nicholas and Elka. I'm glad I did Oba, um, even though I, my boyfriend wasn't sure whether to include him because he dipped in form, but he did so much for us. He'll always be an Arsenal legend in my eyes. Sol Campbell here, um, Adams, Ljungberg, Walcott, Fabregas, Bergkamp, Vieira, Van Persie, Petit, Overmars, Sanchez, and Ramsey. Ian Wright and that's the whole thing. As you can tell it's pretty massive, that's my hand, it's A1 size. I did it in colour pencils, acrylics, it took me about 100 hours. Um, if you want to see some more just go on to my Etsy. It's, it's a bit more like a photo gallery my Etsy, not so much a store, it's just got really good photos of my artwork if you wanted to see a bit more. So that's a brief introduction to that painting. I also sell it on little mugs which are quite cool so check them out if you like it. But the main thing I've been focusing on at the moment has been lifelike and traditional style portraits of our current team. Um, so the reason I like to draw footballers is, as I said, I've been involved in sport. It's made me appreciate just how much these players have had to overcome to be where they are. And as a portrait artist, I find that so compelling to draw because I'm not just trying to make them look like them. I'm trying to show what they've overcome and that determination they've got. You want to draw interesting people, don't you, when you're doing portraits? And I find these players so inspiring, the amount they've overcome to get where they are. Before I draw them, I look a bit into their backstories, find out a bit more about who they are, and then I try and choose a photo to base it on that shows those things and then try and amplify the emotions within them. Um, so yeah, this one is Martinelli. I absolutely love him as a player. He's just lightning quick. And it looks like this season, 2022-23, he's just going to be even more involved in our attacking play. He's drifting in a bit more centrally, linking up with Jesus. And as we saw in the Arsenal documentary, this man's determination and work ethic is second to none. So that's why I drew him looking so strong. Next, probably my favourite one is this drawing I did of Emile Smithrow. There's my pencil so you can see it for size. I love doing this one because he's got this big shadow across his face. Again, coloured pencils but trying to get the... It, I love the shadow actually because you've got the light here, the light here but then mixing your colours so that it still looks like the same skin tone but it's just got a shadow over it. It was really challenging but really fun um, and you can find more photos of that one in a time lapse on my Etsy too. And here, Rambo. I could not draw Rambo without having him smiling. As I said, I'm all about showing the players' personalities and we just see on the pitch his brightness, his confidence. So I had to draw him smiling. It makes me smile looking at it and that's what Rambo does when he's on the pitch. So I hope I did an all right job. Here's one I've done of Xhaka. Um, a lot of people have said it looks nothing like him. <laughs> his chin's too big, but 
I can't be perfect. I tried my best. What's most important to me again is what it shows and it shows his determination, his strength, looking quite noble, which is what I wanted. Um, and yeah, all of these are available as prints. Let me show you though my favourite one. This is my portrait of Bukai Saka. Um, so yeah, hope you like that one. Here's just another one I did of Messi when he left Barca and I've got a few more that I can show you in due time, but that's the majority of them for now. More to come. I love doing them. It's so interesting to me to paint footballers. So I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my portraits. I do them all by hand. Each one takes me about 30 hours. Um, I film time lapses of them too, which you can find on my Twitter, which is at CNU Sketches and on my Etsy store. And if you wanted to support my art by buying some prints, I'd be super grateful, but obviously no obligation. I hope you enjoyed having a look at them. I've got lots more to come where that came from. So now I'm going to show you my first trip to the Emirates. I actually forgot to film parts because I was so involved in the match. <laughs> so it's a bit unfinished, but hopefully you can see just how exciting it was. Um, if any of you haven't been to the Emirates, like I hadn't until a couple of weeks ago, it gives you an idea of the excitement around the stadium and walking in for the first time. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, it's the morning of our first trip to the Emirates. We've woken up a little bit late and it might be about two hours drive. So, well, it depends on traffic, but London and we're bypassing the trains and tubes because of the chaos happening at the moment. Um, but we're up, <laughs> ready to go. Super grateful to Matt Bedford for selling on his spare tickets. Um, so we're gonna have a cup of tea and then get driving. Right, and we're off. You excited, Alex? Can't wait. Me too, I'm so excited. Uh, we're on block 53. Um, we were meant to have a third person, but they couldn't make it today. Ah, the phone just fell. Um, it's all wet, shower, didn't have time for any makeup, but who cares? First game. Okay, so we've made it. We're just outside the Emirates. I'm so excited. Ah, we can hear the crowd. Woo! Cool. Okay. Bloody typical, we had to be right on the other fucking side of the stage. <laughs> Bloody marathon. I think there was bad performance on the pitch, to be fair. Um, but Marte and Jack are really strong. Saliba had a really good game alongside Gabriel. I don't mind Ben White uh, and right backs and Jenga played really well. Martinelli had a great game. Yeah, especially that final goal in Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Saka obviously phenomenal, as usual. Odegaard maybe could have been a little bit better, but uh, you know, his, his, his contribution is still there for all the goals. So, yeah, really good, very good. It was amazing for me just being here for the first time, seeing the players so close, and so much bigger than they look on telly. So we went to the Tollington for a bit, but I think we were too early to see some of our, our mates and our car parking tickets running out. Uh, so now we're in casting, grabbing something for the journey home and uh, still bloody buzzing. So that was the <laughs> trip to the Emirates. I looked like an absolute mess. 
the whole time but that's not what matters doesn't matter what you look like the fact that I was there supporting my club seeing them all in person for the first time was amazing they look so much bigger than they do on the telly um, I can't wait to go again it was incredible uh, so as promised I will show you now the portrait of Rocky and Wrighty that I've been working on for over a month now because it's so difficult basically I found it's a quite a famous freeze frame from uh, Rocky and Wrighty is celebrating and it's a blurry image and I'm trying to recreate it in sharp detailed um, paint and coloured pencil so it's a crystal clear portrait showing just the joy in that moment and the closeness between them so I'll show you my work so far so here it is so far I am pretty much finished on their shirts and what I'm really trying to do now is work on their facial detail um, I was able to get really clear reference images to get detail on the shirts but it's more challenging to find um, detailed images of their faces at this age and at a similar angle so I can get all the detail I need. Um, so I've just compiled tons of different photos of them and I'm trying to um, work all that information into this image. At the moment, righty's left eye is <laughs> not quite ready and there's not enough detail on either of them. So I'm just going to keep adding millimetre by millimetre, hopefully until it's crystal clear. So I'll let you know when that one's finished and I'm going to do lots more research into Righty and Rocky because I'd like to learn a lot more. Anyway, if you're still here, thank you for watching. Um, do go and check out my prints available on Etsy and maybe subscribe, leave a comment, let me know which one of the paintings, well, my drawings so far is your favourite or anything about Arsenal or just tell me what the first pet you owned was. <laughs> Um, I hope everyone has a good week, um, do follow me on Twitter, reach out, um, let me know which player you think I should draw next, have a great week again and I'll see you soon.